this video we're going to be writing a polynomial function when given the zeros of a function. So these three numbers here are the zeros of the function. What you have to realize is that when you have a zero, the easiest way to do this is to take that zero and write it as a factor. So my function f of x, my polynomial function, is going to be equal to these three zeros written as factors. When we write a zero as a factor, we have to take the opposite of what we see. So we see a negative two. So we'll have a factor that is an x plus a two. This three right here is a positive three. So our factor will be an x minus three. And then this is another factor, which will be an x minus three. Now, the reason that we do these as what appears to be the opposite is because if we were had started with a polynomial function, had factored it, and gotten down to this part right here, we would have used a zero product principle, which would have told us that we could set each one of these equal to zero and solve. Thus, this would have given me an x equals a negative 2, an x equals a 3, and an x equals a 3. So going backwards, then you're just taking the opposite sign. Now, easiest way to do this is to take any two of them. I think I'm going to choose those two, and then I'm going to FOIL those out. Okay, so initially this x plus 2 is just going to stay put. All right, FOILing here, I'm going to have an x squared. Then we'll have a minus 3x and a minus 3x, which will give us a minus 6x. A negative 3 times a negative 3 is going to give us a positive 9. At this point, then we're just going to take this um, x and distribute it to everything in the second trinomial there. And then we will take the 2 and distribute it also to every term in that trinomial. So we will do a little color coding here to be able to find our terms. x times x squared is going to be an x to the third. x times the negative 6x will be a minus 6x squared. x times the 9 is going to be a plus 9x. All right, now when I distribute the 2, all right, 2 times x squared, that's going to give me a 2x squared. So I'm going to go ahead, since I know I'm going to have to add like terms, I'm going to line it up underneath here. So I'm going to have a positive 2x squared. 2 times the negative 6x is going to give me a minus 12x. Again, lining it up with terms that I already know that are going to be like terms. 2 times that 9 then is going to be an 18. And all this does is prevents you from having a great big long string of terms which you would then have to go through and add at a later point in time. So line those matching terms up makes it a little bit shorter. Now I'm just going to go down adding going down here I'm going to go ahead and put my f of x out here so it's a polynomial function called f adding here I'll have an x to the third then here I'll have a minus 4x squared here we'll have a minus 3x and then a plus 18. All right, I am in standard form because the exponents are decreasing. All right, so I have a polynomial function written in standard form that had the zeros of negative 2, 3, and 3. So pretty much a straightforward process as long as you understand how your zeros transform into your factors. And then it's just a matter of being able to multiply that out to get your standard form. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.